right, thanks for watching. And this is just a quick video that illustrates something important, namely, how can you check if a set is a basis or not? And in this case, let's do it for R3. First of all, again, this is the beauty of dimensions. Uh, R is three-dimensional. So if you have a set that only has two vectors or a set that has four vectors or more, then it's automatically not a basis. So for a three-dimensional space, we automatically need three vectors for it to be a basis. Now, it still could not be a basis because you know, it could, for example, be linearly dependent or something. So really to check for this, as usual, you put everything in a matrix and you row reduce. So 0, 1, minus 2, 5, 1, minus 3, 4, 6, 3, 5. And yes, determinant lovers, you could just take the determinant of this if it's non-zero, then it is in fact a basis. So how do we do this? The zeros ideally go down, so we interchange the rows. So 1 minus 7, 3, 0, 5, 6, minus 2, 4, 5. Okay. Now get rid of this minus 2, so multiply this by 2, and you get 1 minus 7, 3, 0, 5, 6, and then 0, minus 10, and 11. Now, this 5 and minus 10, they go very well together. So let's add 2 times this row to this row, and you get, maybe let me do it in the same whiteboard. 1 minus 7, 3, 0, 5, 6, and then 0, 0, and then uh, some weird number, 23. Well, what's one way of checking something as a basis? The nice thing is there's this invertible matrix theorem which says if a matrix is invertible, then automatically it's a basis. And to check a matrix is invertible, you could just look at the pivots. Notice it's a square matrix with three pivots, so automatically you can say that this is a basis. So three pivots. and we get it's a basis. Now, you might say, okay, well, um, what, yeah. <laughs> you might say, well, what if uh, it's not a square matrix? Well, it will never happen if we talk about R3 because um, R3 is three-dimensional, so we will need exactly three vectors for it to be a basis. So we'll have three vectors in R3 with three components. So a three by three matrix. And we would have, you know, for R4, we would have a vector with four components and then will be a four by four matrix. That's why this thing works. Yes, and one might also wonder how do we do it for a general span? Well, there's another video on that where you just extract a basis and if it turns out you don't have to extract anything at the end, it is in, uh, in generally a basis. So, I hope you like this short video. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.